Yes, Shumataji, everyone. Welcome to this morning session. Let's all bow down, raise up on the leanings, put ourselves in a bandhan. Today is Kalashtami, no day for Sri Mahabharava. But let us put our hands together and humbly request Sri Mataji. You who are Sri Kala Bhairava, Sri Bhairava, please accept our humble surrender. 
Mother, please accept our invitation and our heartfelt desire to please be present during our meditation. Please let your lotus feet reside on my sahasra. Please let me see you in my heart, mother. Let me see your lotus feet in my heart. Let's place our right hand towards Mother Earth. We'll say one mantra for Sri Ganesha. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Ganesha Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devyai Namo Namaha. Mother, you who are Shri Ganesha, please let your lotus feet come onto my Muladhar. Please enlighten the powerful innocence and wisdom of Shri Ganesha within me. Please let the essence of Sri Ganesha be enlightened on every chakra of my subtle system. Say the mantra for Sri Mahakali Bhairava. Om Tvami Vasakshat Sri Mahakali Bhairava Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devyai Namo Namaha. And I let all the imbalances of my left side be absorbed into the Mother Earth. Mother, I surrender all my conditionings at your lotus feet. Mother, please destroy all my karmas. All the karmas of my past, my past lives, and past generations, my past deeds. Mother, I surrender my past at your lotus feet. Please destroy all the negative conditionings within me.
Father, I forgive myself. Please forgive me. Please forgive me for any acts, any deeds, any thoughts against my spirit, against my spiritual ascent, committed knowingly or unknowingly. Please forgive me, Mother. I forgive myself and I forgive everyone. The ninth one is Sri Ananda Bhairava. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Ananda Bhairava Namaha. The tenth one is Sri Martanda Bhairava. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Martanda Bhairava Namaha. Jihash. Yeah. The first one was Sri Mahabhairava, that is the great Bhairava. The third one was Sri Siddha Bhairava, that is the Bhairava that is attained. Then after that is Sri Kala Bhairava, the Bhairava who is the Lord of Time, who is derived from Sri Shiva. Then after that is Sri Kalagni Bhairava, that is the Bhairava who is derived from the fire of the Kala. The, uh, the, the fire that burns away all time. Then is Sri Yogini Bhairava, the Bhairava who is um, possessed of the powers to grant yoga. Then is Sri Shakti Bhairava, who is the Bhairava who contains power within him. Then is Sri Ananda Bhairava, that is the Bhairava who contains joy within him. Then is Sri Martanda Bhairava, this one I don't know. <laughs> Surya. The, the Bhairava of Surya. Then is Sri Gaura Bhairava. Gaura is the same word from which the name Gauri is derived. It means pale, it means fair, it means white. Glowing. Glowing. Huh? Glory. Jiha. The Bhairava of glory. Then is Sri, o, is Sri Bala Bhairava. So we said Bala um, can can have two meanings, either a child or powerful. Bala is pa powerful, Bala is child. Huh. Then Om Tvame, so we say Bala Bhairava. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Bala Bhairava Namo. Then Sri Batu Bhairava. This one I don't know. So we say this one, Om Tvameva Smachat Sri Bhatu Bhairava Namo. Then it's Sri Smashana Bhairava. That is the Bhairava who guards the graveyards and the burning places and protects people against the bhuts. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Smashana Bhairava Namo. Then it's Sri Pura Bhairava. Pura means that which stands before things, that which is very ancient. So it can mean either someone who is uh, in front of everything, i.e. the best of everything, or also one that has been from time past. Om Tvameva Sakshad Sri Pura Bhairava Namaha. Then is Sri Taruna Bhairava. Om Tvameva Sakshad Sri Taruna Bhairava Namaha. Keeps you. Then is Sri Paramananda Bhairava, the Bhairava of great joy, the supreme joy. The one who gives one eternal joy. Om Tvameva Saksha Sri Paramananda Bhairava Namaha. 
then is Sri Surananda Bhairava. That is the Bhairava who is the joy of the gods, the Suras. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Surananda Bhairava Namaha. Then is Mnyanananda Bhairava. That is the Bhairava who is the joy of knowledge, of knowing things. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Nyanananda Bhairava Namo. Then is Sri Uttam Ananda Bhairava. That is the Bhairava of supreme, of highest joy. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Uttam Ananda Bhairava Namaha. Then is Sri Amrut Ananda Bhairava. That is the Bhairava who is the joy of nectar, of vibrations. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Amrutananda Bhairava Namoha Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Keeping our attention still on the left agya. Shri Bhairav Nath ke ikkis naam. Om Shri Maha Bhairavaya Namo Namaha. Om Shri Batuka Bhairavaya Namo Namaha. Om Shri Siddha Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Kankala Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Kala Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Kalagni Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Yoga Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Shakti Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Ananda Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Martanda Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Gaura Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Bala Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Batu Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Shmashana Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Pura Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Taruna Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Paramananda Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Surananda Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Dnyanananda Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Uttamananda Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Om Shri Amritananda Bhairavaya Namo Namaha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devyai Namo Namaha
today we have gathered here to do <coughs> puja to bhairavnath i think we have not understood the <coughs> significance of bhairavnath who runs and up and down on the ida nadi ida nadi is the nadi of chandrama is of the moon so <coughs> this is a channel for us to cool down so the work of bhairavnath ji is <coughs> to cool us down for example people have a hot temper with their ego with their liver whatever it is and <coughs> if a person is in a big temper then bhairavnath plays tricks on that person like to pull him down no. uh, he organizes everything under his own control with ganas help with ganapati's help to cool down your temperament to give you a balance so if somebody is a very hot tempered person and he crosses all the limits of his temper then some or other bhairavnath will organize also with the help of anumana to show that this stupidity of anger is no good so for example people who are depressed or who become left sided hanumana tries uh, uh, to help them to come out of it no doubt but also bhairavnath uh, helps them very much more to come out of it now a person who is left sided cannot be collected diva it is very difficult for a person who is very left sided who is uh, all the time feeling very sad unhappy and worried cannot enjoy the fun of collectivity while a hot tempered person right sided person does not enjoy any collectivity doesn't allow anybody to enjoy collectivity no doubt but tries to be in the collective that is can assert because such a person tries to show the superiority is something superior naturally he cannot enjoy the collective on the contrary the person who is depressed all the time thinks uh nobody loves me nobody cares for me i'm so depressed this that all the time expecting from others something also cannot enjoy the collective such a left sided person will find everything is something uh unhappy like the other day i went to moscow there was a lady with us who was a sajogini left sided sajogini so uh, we went to have our food and it started raining and they couldn't get a taxi yes, but then a car came in and we went there then the uh, they said that you are very late so you have to sit on the other side you have to take the seats which were more expensive so this lady started saying what all problems no taxi it is raining and we can't get a seat i said this is all fun this is not something a problem this problem our word should be given up this is a new word i have learned because problem we used to use only for geometry in our <laughs> young age now this sort of a attitude negative attitude to find everything negative is the way we really spoil our left side 
But then a gentleman who had invited us came and he said, we are sitting on the other side waiting for you. So we went to the other side, enjoyed nice food. Everything was fine. She said, see now, you were only counting how many negative things there are. And you were not seeing the fun. So she asked me, what should I do? I said, you take Bhairava's name. Sit with your left hand towards the photograph and right hand on the mother earth. And that's how all your boots of negativity will go away. So Bhairava is, always has a light in his hand, always light in his hand. And he runs up and down. Ida uh, Nadi, to make light for you to see that there is nothing negative. And this negativity comes to us by many ways. One of the um, negativities are that this is mine. Like my child, my husband, uh, my property, my. So then, you see, once you get attached in this manner, what you find that your children also become negative. But if you want to be positive, it is very easy. And for that, you should see where is your attention. Are you only seeing problema or you are seeing some fun in it? There are people who cannot make fun out of anything. Yes. If it's a sunny day, they'll cry, oh God, what a sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> and if it is a, a day with clouds, they'll say, oh, what a day. <laughs> Nothing can please them. But to enjoy the positivity in every negativity is the capacity of a surgeon. The negativity doesn't exist. It's an ignorance. Also, it's not ignorance, which so because ignorance also doesn't exist. If everything is the all-pervading power, then how can there be ignorance? But supposing uh, in the folds of this power, if you hide, run away, you will say that there is negativity. Like you hide yourself in a cave, close it properly, and say that there is no sun. So those people who cannot become collective are either right-sided or left-sided, but more left-sided. But left-sided people can be collective in negativity. This is, there is a very big fraternity of bhuts. Uh, you see some drunkards sitting together. They are saying, see, there's so many problem, ecological problem. They are drunkards, all drunk. And there are problems of so, so other kinds. When will this end? So the another one says, wait, wait, wait. I have heard that the whole world is going to collapse very soon. Then the third one says, thank God we are going to be collapsed, finished. Then fourth one says, but what will happen to our pubs? <laughs> they say it's all right if we are not existing, what does it matter? That's how the frater fraternity of the Bhuts act. They cannot see fun at all. They cannot enjoy at all. And uh, they become very sort of thing, they are very meditative, they are some higher people, they are something superior in negativity. But the end of these people is that they become lunatics. While the end of the right side is they become idiotic. Uh, once I went to a lunatic asylum. And uh, while going there I met a lady and she was quite all right. I mean, I thought she was a quite all right woman, so I started talking to her. And she started talking very wisely, see, my brother-in-law is there and isn't it necessary that he should be helped and we should not do this, that, all kinds of things she was telling me, showing me as if she was very nice and kind and no one loves her. And she said, I'm very insecure and this and that. Suddenly the doctor came in and she started abusing him, shouting at him. I said, what's this? So 
the doctor sent for people that catch hold of this woman. She told me she is the most violent lunatic. I, why are you talking to her? I did have a headache, but I didn't know she was a lunatic. Maybe in my presence as Bhut might have a little bit run away and were play, playing tricks. But you can see that clearly. So these emotional attachments too much and to emotionally to worry about somebody that, uh, you see, uh, this is my child, this is my this thing, this is this and this is that. And all the time wasting your precious life in these things is not the way a Sahajogi should live. If a Sahajogi cannot become collective, then know that he is not a Sahajogi. So one has to know that this is the work of Bhairavanath within us. And a, another work that he gives us light in darkness is that that he he destroys all the bhuts within us and funny ideas about attachments and also the depressiveness. So today we are, I am very happy that we are worshipping uh, Sri Bhairava because he is very much connected with Ganesha. As you know Sri Ganesha is at the Muladhara and while Bhairava moves on to the left side and goes to the right side. So all kinds of conditionings, all kinds of habits can be conquered through the help of Bhairavanath. In uh, Nepal we have a very huge big Bhairavanathas uh, statue which is daily Swambhu and people are more left-sided so they are afraid of Bhairavanath. So if somebody has a bad habit say of stealing they take him to the to in front of Bhairavanath and put his light there, make a flame. I mean, the police take them, and uh, then they ask him now, say before Bhairavanath, uh, confess it, and they confess what wrong they have done. So he protect us also from doing wrong things, sly things like thieving. Whatever we think we can do secretly can be hidden, but you cannot hide it from Bhairavanath. If you don't change, then he exposes you completely. That's how he has exposed all the horrible false gurus. So today we are here to, uh, to worship this great deity of Bhairavanatha who incarnated on this earth later on, ultimately as Mahavira also. So he stands on the gate of hell and stops people from falling into hell. But if you want to go to hell, if it is your desire, is your willpower like that working, that I should go to hell, then he says, all right, you can go. But as you know, now the hell is also full of people. So it's better that we should try to fight our negativity and become fun-loving, enjoying others, loving others not worrying about uh, what others are doing to you, but only thinking what good you can do to others. So today's uh, special puja for Bhairavanath we offer to give us a sense to laugh, to enjoy, to have fun. May God bless you. Just meditate silently for a few minutes, looking within ourselves, surrendering all our negativities, negative conditionings, attitudes, all the negativity preventing us from being collective.
all the negativity preventing us from experiencing the joy of the collective the love and joy of our spirit Rendering all our attachments. All our worries. All our past. Mother, may the light of Sri Bhairava destroy all the negativity, all the darkness in my mind. Let the light of my spirit enlighten my brain. Bring our attention on the Sahasra. Shri Kaila Ki Shri Sahasrar Sahasrar Sahasrar, Shri Sahasrar, 
Swami. Shri Sahasrar Swami Moksha Prada Namo, 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 Namo,
श्री निर्मला दे Let's bow down humbly to Shri Mataji, expressing our thanks in our own words. For giving us the opportunity for today's collective meditation. And then you can raise your kundalini and put yourself in a bandhan. And have a great day, everyone. We will see you again tomorrow. Jai Shri Mataji. Devaraj Sevya Mana Pavanagri Pankajam व्याल यज्ञ सूत्र मिंदु शेखरम कृपा करम नारदादि योगी वृंद वंद तम दिगंबरम काशी का पूरा दिनात काल भैरवम बजे काशी का पूरा दिनात काल भैरवम बजे Get
धर्म मार्ग नाशक कर्म पाश मोचक सुशर्म दायक विभु स्वर्ण वर्ण शेष पाश शोभितांग मंडल काशिका पुराधिनाथ काल भैरव भजे काशिका पुराधिनाथ काल भैरव भजे रत्न पातु का प्रभावी राम पाद युग्म कम नित्य मध्वितीय मिष्ट दैवतम निरंजनम मृत्यु दर्पनाशनम कराल दर्शन मोक्षनम काशिका पुराधिनाथ काल भैरवम बजे काशिका पुराधिनाथ काल भैरवम बजे श्रीमदशंकराचार्य विरचित श्री काल भैरवष्टक स्त्रोत्र संपूर्ण साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला दिव्य नमो नम